Okay. So we taking a drink to the, mm-hmm. the good times. Yep. But when people, because I've seen, I think I seen you comment, they was like, she got don't she got OnlyFans or don't she got this? It's like, bro, when you see the talent, like people still try to bring up the old. Shit. Does it ever like feel unfortunate or hurt at all? I don't give a f- for real. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you why. You gonna love me. You gonna dislike me. You can't deny my talent because the calls that I'm getting. I ain't got no time to mess up for nobody. Mm. So I don't. The calls that I'm getting is unreal. I want to say it, but I want to. I don't want to mess up my blessings. No, I, for sure. Keep it. I just be sitting here. I'll tell you off camera. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I do, I don't care what people think no more. I'm not changing for you. But a lot of more people see it than the people that be seeing the little things. That's fine. I don't do OnlyFans now. So now what? What you gonna say now? How was hard? How, how hard was that? Very to hard. Like financially, the most craziest thing I've ever done. I woke up one day, I'm like, I'm tired of it. I started getting a lawyer. Anything negative, we're getting taken down each month. Like, mm. stuff is just getting so... Eventually, it's gonna be gone. Like, and that was for me, not for anybody else. It's just like, I wanna I wanna clean myself up. I don't go by Johnny Blaze no more. We're legally about to switch over to just straight Johnny. Johnny Blaze sound R&B. I, I mean, um, rapper. Look so. at this. I, I can't make this up. <laughs> I, am I, I'm not. I'm not making Cause this Cause you know where I came yeah, from, like, Jay. If, if, like this like, ain't no. I can't. Like Johnny the sounds interview. better. I used to be like, best female artist, Scissors, Summer Walker, Johnny Blaze. I'm like that don't sound right. Best female artist, Johnny. I put myself with the before it even happens, Johnny. Summer that sounds better. I like Johnny. Or it was my real name, and my real name is difficult, which is Japel Von Krishna. So I was like, no, I'll take Von Krishna from my Lash company. So I did Lash by Von Krishna, and I'll keep Japel till when I get big enough and I do a clothing line. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Do something like people, Kanye, another Gemini. It was like, why are you only $20 for the shirts? The man made $5.2 million a day. Mm. People can't afford all that, and he knows that because he came from that. So you, it's just different for me. I'm not looking at whether somebody likes me or not. I'm not looking at... Who's a fan of mine or who's not? It's either you love me or you don't. And I'm I'm okay with it. I am okay with it. I've I used to be so sad. They don't like me. They don't like me. I don't, I'm not here to not here for everybody to like me. But you you won't you gonna see me. Mm. I'm gonna put it in their face every time. I have to. I have something to prove for myself. You know how people say I got something to prove to others. I don't have nothing to prove to nobody but me and God. You either on the bandwagon or you not, and I'm cool with that. The less people on my bandwagon, the faster this shit'll go. Thanks. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Yo, Johnny, so the humility <laughs> the humility in the room is crazy, bro. So we go from... It's hot then a bit. No, nah, it goes from... No, the humility. Like, you're humble. Oh. <laughs> the, the, you go from... At one point in time, it was reality TV. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a check associated with that. Sometimes. Then <laughs> OnlyFans, I'm pretty sure it was a check associated with that. Yeah. And I hear you say, like, bro, I'm independent. It's the, the broke artist play. For like a better words, right? Mm-hmm. To to be okay with that, right? Like to to, to be okay with that is like that's a blessing because yeah, some people that's a hard pill to swallow. People be swallow. like, I don't want to, you know, I done lost my car. I'm living with my best friend. I I don't know how people might look. No, it is what it is. My hairstylist drives me around, and I pay her gas, and I give her some change, and you know what I'm saying, and we ride out because we know what it is. Mm. I don't have no shame in anything. Because it's just like, you'll love me more. I haven't made it yet. I put myself in that position because I messed up my own blessings. Mm. So I had to start over. I had a person that was with my independent label that was putting money on me and and, and making sure that my my music got out. And now I'm on the tabloids of fighting and stuff. So now it takes away from the music. So they're not going to put money behind it. So whose fault is that? Mine. Mm. So now that I'm in this space with this, you know, starting over, for some odd reason... When I got a little bit less money, things started working better. And and Deb used to tell me when she w- was doing growing up in hip hop, she said, you're going to have to strip everything that you think you need from the OnlyFans, the five, six thousand, ten thousand a week, all that stuff. You're going to have to strip your temper, everything. And when you're at your lowest, I was in my, my best friend's seven bedroom house and it's just me, him and his niece. And his cousin, which we all family where he's a truck driver. So we don't see each other. I be in the house damn near by myself. And I had just the blow up bed in there. But I had all my stuff from my loft in the thing, you know, in a storage. And he was like, why don't you decorate your room? That's probably what is giving you depression. And when I started doing all that stuff and I'm I'm being humble and I'm like, you know, it just makes me feel better. It's okay that I ain't got money like that. It's okay. I'm not ashamed of none of that. What I'm proud of is that God stripped me from everything. And, oof. 
I got everything that I wanted with music. I got people to see me for me. Mm-mm. That is good, man. Sorry, y'all. I'm like emotional crybaby. We got this side of us too. Like I'm super blessed. Mm. National anthem to interviews to when I walk up and it's security like, hey Johnny, who you with? It used to be like, nah, we don't know if you're gonna start anything. It's not that no more. It's women love me. They be hugging me. People be shaking. I'm holding people's babies. I'm like, bro, this baby's two months old. <laughs> they supposed to be outside. <laughs> Hold my baby, take a shot, um, take a, a picture with me. And I'm like, man, I'm glad it humbled me. I'm glad I don't have all the money in the world because I know it's coming. I think being stripped from everything, people get scared. But when you have so much talent and you're realizing all you got to do is sing and the next thing you know, you're looking up and you're doing things that you never did before. It's, it feels so good. I'm okay going home to my best friend's house. Right after I leave here, I got a place to stay. People still talk about my music. I'm healthy. Um, I'm still getting bookings now. I'm still making money. And it's happy happy bookings. I got a booking after this. R&B. An R&B club that's sold out. And I get to sing. Hmm. I, got my, I might not have thousands coming in, but it's money saved to the side. If I want to do a trip, we just did Fashion Week. My first time, thank you to Galore Magazine. I wanted to be on Galore Magazine since 2017. The song that just dropped now is the reason why I got the cover of uh, one of the covers of Galore Magazine, and they invited me to Fashion Week. My homegirls, we in a group together. They're like, I'll get my ticket. All right, here, I'm going to put 300 on the, um on a hotel. What you got? I got 100 We all went and had a blast. It's not about money. It's about who you have around you. Um man and just believing I never thought that I would like the stuff that I be seeing lately I'm like yo this is crazy I really left everything behind and now I'm I'm right where I need to be and I'm happy about it like I'm cool yeah I don't got like I don't have to say nothing like this is it's amazing <laughs> Sorry, I no it, like, cry, I, I felt it coming because it's been overwhelming every day today was a little stressful too because I be wanting to snap on things, and I'm just like, it ain't worth it no more. Mm, mm, mm. It's not worth it. Well, people don't understand. It's hard, though, when you're so used to. And that's what, but you know what? I'm, now it's just like, nah, it ain't it really not worth it, because you don't know the next time you'll have opportunity. This might be God saying, I'm telling you now, I put all that talent in you. Play with me if you want, and with this last chance, I'm going to give you and see what I'm going to do to you. Come on, That's man. how I feel like. like. That's the person that I care about. If God was like, a person that was on earth and he had a tw- uh, Instagram and I seen him in there saying, play with me if you want. That's the only comment I care about. Like, see, y'all got God mad. I'm not playing with none of y'all. I don't care about what none of y'all talk about. I, God told me. So it's just like, I'm not. Yo, hindsight yeah. being 2020, right? You going through all of it. Mm-hmm. What do you tell a girl who might not understand what she's going through? that might not be able to see that her temper can be that's in the way of the blessings. Like, what do you tell that young lad? Everybody is judging. Everybody got something to say. Hold up. <laughs> this ain't for clickbait. <laughs> All right. It's just real. Nah, for real. I know what you're You see somebody like a Christian Rock. Yeah. Right? And everybody got so much to say about her. She, right? she remind me of me. Everybody judging, judgmental. They, it's quick to say something, mm-hmm. but they have no idea what this girl is going you through. You know what's going to happen with her? Krishan, when I met Krishan, I I could see off of and brought to you by my friend's phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I've she she actually does remind me of me how mm. I how I was. What's gonna happen is on her time, just like me, she gonna switch everything. All that negative people was talking about and stuff. She gonna blow the fuck up. Mm. She already she's already there. But I, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. She gonna just, and she's doing it now. Like it be in and out, but you cannot. We, it's not our business to change that girl. That girl gonna do it on her own. She's sweet as pie. Oh mm. my gosh, she was so sweet to me. Cool, kicking it, and I. That's I don't go off of what everybody else talk about. I go off how you treat me. She was cool as shit. She said that you could sing. I was mm. like, you dope as hell. So how I see it is, it's not up to us to change her. That's not our business. It's her and God. She's gonna. It's gonna be a moment where she changed, and she, she gonna be bigger than what she is already. Mm. She gonna be out of there. Like, I'm talking about out of there. And that's how I see things because I would want people to, you don't expect people to do that, but you be, people be hoping for people to change, not because they want it, but they genuinely do. And there's a lot of people, I'm sure, want her to just grow bigger. So that's really how I feel about What word that. would you give her, like a like a message, like even if it's not advice, right? 
Like, what would you? I don't you... believe in giving people advice no more. Yeah, but if it was a yeah. word, not advice, but like um, if you could see her in one on one and be like, "Yo, listen, man, no matter what." What, what, what Deb would... said to me. What's that? You're gonna have to strip everything. She I, that was the most hurtful conversation I ever had with Deb on TV. I think that's why I am TV gold. When I go on TV, I don't read scripts. I'm not doing nothing. You either you either gonna catch this or you don't. And that's why a lot of cameras when I was filming, I never understood until now. Now I'm recapping. Supposed to have two cameras on you when you film it. It was all the cameras. The whole production was always on me because you don't know what what I'm gonna do. And she said to me, she was like, "You gonna have to strip everything." I'm talking about strip down, like at archive stuff. Archive your page. Don't post. Hold your post. Like that's the only thing I would tell her. Mm. Just on your time, because I can't, you can't give nobody advice. You can give advice all day. Except for them to take it. And then when they don't take it, you're like, see, I told them. No, you didn't tell them nothing. What you did is you told your opinion of what you think they should do. And because they didn't do it, now you feel like they are terrible. Mm. You're not God. So everybody got their own opinion out of their mouth. Unless it's, uh, even when, you know, when people say it's facts on stuff, it could still be a possibility of an opinion. You have your opinion. But I wouldn't give no advice because when people was giving me advice, I didn't want to listen. Mm. I was just like, yeah, I hear you. I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to do this this way. So that's what I would tell her. I, I stopped giving people advice, and I stopped taking people's advice, too, because I knew, once I figured it out, I knew what was wrong with me. I was mm. like, bro, you're a liability. I literally looked at myself and was like, bro, you fucking up. Mm. Something wrong with you. You got to change, bro. This ain't it. This ain't it. What this was that moment it. for you, though? Um, It started in 2013, but I was just off and on. But I took therapy with Dr. Lee. I actually um, took a break for two months, and I want to go back because she didn't know who I was or nothing. This was about a year and a half ago. She's like, I'm going to take you up your medication. I'm like, huh? She's like, I'm taking you up the depression and anxiety and the, um, I, in my sleep, I um, have panic attacks. So it'll stop my heart for like 10 seconds. So I was like, I'm not doing that. She's like, I'm going to take you off. You don't need it. I'm not prescribing you that. She said, you have an attitude problem. She's like, I could tell. I don't know you. She called me Miss Jackson. That's my last name. She didn't know who I was or nothing. This is crazy. Once she started figuring it out, she's like, you have a temper problem. You have an attitude problem, and it's not nobody else's fault. You just, you're just nasty for no reason, and you're blaming everybody else for something that, you know, you could have stopped because of your reaction. So when I started really getting into that, and I was like, you know what, I want to change that, it started happening day by day. And the gym, shout out to Dr. Uh, not Dr. Well, Dr. Kurz and King of Fitness, I started getting into the gym and being around normal women that was also going through things, heartbreaks and stuff, and they used the gym to lose weight, but also it was like a um, when you're angry, you get the box and stuff, mm -hmm. and I just felt better every day. I was just like, yeah, I feel better doing this. Like, I feel better calm. And when things started coming in, I was like, well, okay, maybe I need to be calm so I can get to where the fuck I need to go. Mm. Ain't nobody, nobody got time to be putting up money and then losing it because you want to smack somebody or... I ain't got time for that. So therapy in the gym. Yeah, therapy in the gym and then just switching out who, not switching out, but just letting go of people. Mm. Certain people, I don't want to be around a person that's drinking a lot, you know, and all types of stuff or doing this or you're partying, but I'm a singer, so I can't club every day. I got to be in the studio at those times. So that's kind of where I was like, take this out. This friend, when I need to party, I'll party with that friend. But it was about me. 